of the Mill is a family-owned ag retail store combined with a farm, home, and garden center. So there's a couple things that really affect this mid-Atlantic area. One of those would be the Chesapeake Bay. And then in the 90s, for the Maryland farmers, the Maryland Nutrient Management Plan was established. Maryland Nutrient Management Plan required soil tests, but it also put time limits. Farmers in this area, they can spread potash in the fall, but they cannot do anything with nitrogen and phosphorus through the winter time. I'm Kevin Dietz from KM Dietz Farms here in Glenarm, Maryland. We grow about 1,500 acres of corn, soybeans, wheat, and hay. All of our farming is mostly no-till because of our hills. Uh, we do do a small amount of minimum till to get our ground ready to plant wheat or hay, but for the most part, everything's no-till. Yeah, we have a nutrient management program that we have to follow, and we're just trying to keep our levels up to the limit, you know, where they say that they're supposed to be, but we gotta be careful not to go over. It was probably 2007 or 8 we were first introduced to phosphorus stabilization. It was a new product. It turned out to be a veil once it got a name. You know, we got to trialing on farms, and you talk about a fun story to be able to have a farmer tell the landowner, listen, I'm able to reduce my phosphorus application because the avail is going to protect it. Initially, we started using the avail thinking that we could use less and it would be more efficient. And I think so far that that's done a good job for us. This year was the first year for takeoff. The mill got us started on it. Um, we feel that it takes a lot of stress out of the plants. Certain chemicals that we spray, like especially on wheat, we notice that it sets the wheat back. When we use takeoff, we don't notice that at all. So being able as an independent retailer to go to market, it was an uphill battle. But through time, we have built a solid business around every pound of urea that comes into our facilities is stabilized. We like to deal with the mill because of the personal relationship we have with the agronomists and the owners. The other places in the area will just send a salesman around and they tell you what they have. It is what it is, and that's what you get. Where the mill, you know, then one of the owners will stop in, hey, how you doing? Can we do anything? Do you need anything? And the agronomists are the same way. Well, the mill does their crop showcase every year and they try a lot of the products side by side and they'll do whatever is in my best interest. And I feel like if they, they would use it on their own farm, they would tell me to use it. We're a family owned, small independent retailer with all the big guys around us. And for us, we look for, instead of a supplier, I'm always looking for a partner, somebody who is willing to come in and work with us to develop a market, but most importantly, have a differentiator. One of the things we've learned with Verdesian, when they come out with a new product, it's something we need to look at. As an independent retailer, we get a lot of phone calls from people that have a magic juice they want us to try. The beauty of working with somebody like Verdesian they are already pre-sorting that. When Verdesian comes to market and puts a name on something, what we have learned, it's real, it's a difference maker, it will impact that farmer's crop.